Hello there. Welcome to the vlog for the week. Today's Tuesday because last week's vlog I didn't end until yesterday. So today's Tuesday. Getting ready to go to work. I'll be driving down to the building Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. So since um, the rule is you work from the office three days a week if there's three days available in the week. So since I worked from the lake on Monday, my three days I'm gonna work down there are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So anyway, just getting back into the morning routine from home. So make my coffee, make a, I always take like a, a bottle of like a, I don't know how many ounces it is. I can't think this morning. My brain doesn't want to work. But my water bottle and banana. I have lunch stuff already down there. I have breakfast bars down there. So anyway, my normal morning routine. Get headed out the door. And like I always hope, I'm hoping for a good day and a good week. <laughs> it started good. Monday was good. Hello there, today is Wednesday and last night our microwave decided to stop working. Um, we've had it since 2009, so I guess it's had a nice long life, but I heated up some soup, worked just fine. Not 10 minutes later, probably not even five minutes later, my son went to heat something in the microwave like this little macaroni thing and he took it out you know like some of them you're supposed to like cook for a certain amount of time and then you take it out and you stir it and you put it back in and he was like mom this is really weird this is like still frozen and I was like oh well maybe you know who knows maybe it just was like extra frozen or something it's gonna take longer to cook and he put it back in the microwave and it's like all the lights, the the turntable, everything seems like it's working just fine, but it's not heating anything. And so he put it in for like its second thing. And he's like, mom, something's going on. So I filled up a glass um, measuring cup with water, put it in there for a couple of minutes and it was still ice cold. So made sure the power level was at 10 like it's supposed to be unplugged it, plugged it back in, did all the things, and it no longer heats. So I was like looking it up, and I forgot the name of the part. It starts with an M. Magnetron or something? I don't know. But I guess when that goes out, then your microwave just won't heat anymore. And um, it's cheaper to just replace it instead of trying to repair it. So I already ordered a new microwave from Lowe's. Um, they didn't have like the size and stuff, Lowe's or Home Depot or anywhere around us in stock. So hopefully it's supposed to be available for pickup by the 26th. So we're going to be without a microwave for a little while, but what is today even? The 20th. So we use the microwave a lot. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. But anyway... Now, just normal morning stuff so I can get headed out the door and hope for a good day. Yesterday was a good day. I just was like dog tired all day and I'm still tired today. I don't know what's going on, but I just, I'm, I'm ready for it to get warm and stay warm. We keep getting teased with, you know, warm days here and there and then it's just back into the 40s and the 50s and yesterday was the first day of spring and I'm just ready for spring and for it to act like spring and be here and be warm. I'm so tired of the cold. I think that's part of my problem. So, but anyway, it's Wednesday. Hello there. Today's Thursday. Just got into the office and realized I forgot to say hello for today. Um, so hello. Can't think of anything else, but it's Thursday. Hey guys, it is Friday after work, 
and I'm getting ready to go into Walmart to do our grocery shopping. So that's what I'm up to. Okay, so can you tell how red my nose is? I just got done in Walmart and I swear the temperature dropped like at least 10 degrees, if not more, while I was in there. I'm like shocked <laughs> how cold it got. those like people that like a security Ugh, sorry <sighs> like one of the little parking people like pulled out real fast behind me startled me but now I am on my way back home Got all the groceries. I swear the price of groceries. It feels like every time I go to the store, the prices have gone up. It's just nuts. Is it like that by you guys too? Yeah, this car just went away that they're not supposed to go. So I got new glasses. I went to the eye doctor last week. One of you guys commented on my glasses the other day that said you liked my new glasses, but I didn't have any new glasses last week. It was just kind of funny. I had a pair that I hadn't worn in a really long time that um, I was going to get the lenses replaced on those, but instead I got these because they're like a tortoise shell and they'll go with everything, but I did. I got these from the eye doctor and then what I do is after I get my prescription, then I come home and I get on Zenny. Why does my head look so small? I think it's because this shirt's so puffy. But I get on Zenny Optical and I order glasses through them because they're a lot cheaper than getting them through your eye doctor. Like last night I ordered five pairs of glasses and it was 68 bucks for five pair. Granted it's single vision, um, I know like bifocal progressives or more so so even though if you've been following me for years and you see me in what looks like the same glasses for years they're not the same I just get them I just buy the same pairs although this time I ordered the same I like have this black pair that are like clear on the bottom that I those are the what I wear mostly I think these are going to end up being the most worn next, but um, I've ordered those probably, I think this is my fifth time I've ordered those, and but this time I also, I ordered some different ones than what I've ordered in the past, so those should come in seven to ten days. Ugh. I was really hoping that Brian would be home to help me carry in the groceries, but he's still out on bids. This will be fun. Good morning. Today is Saturday. Woke up with crazy hair. <laughs> I must have moved around a lot in my sleep. So I'm getting ready to make a coffee. And then I'm going to sit and... I don't know, I might play my game a little bit, just kind of chill a little bit in the early morning. And then I think I might go to the thrift store. I'm not sure. And then I want to clean house. I need to mop. So I'm going to do that later. Unload the dishwasher, just do some stuff. But for now, I'm going to have coffee and chill out for a bit. Hey guys, so I'm home. 
I was in that thrift store for so long. I think I got in there at like one. It's now 3.30. I was just looking all around at everything and I think I got some really good things. So I was gonna share them with you. This is my bag. So I think it was meant to be for me to go into the thrift store today. Because something I noticed, it was the third time I'd gone down an aisle. So I don't know if it's something new they just set out because I definitely didn't see it my first two times. But look what they had. Welcome to the lake. This little sign. It was $2.98. And see how it's like the green color? If you watched the vlog last week, I found that boat shelf that I put in the ba in the one bathroom. I'm going to put this in that bathroom also. Like above the toilet, there's a shelf hanging on the wall, and then there's just blank space between that shelf and the toilet top. So I'm going to hang this in that blank space. It was just meant to be. See how it's got like the rope? And I just, I was excited to find this. So I got that. And then I found a book. I was looking at the books. I didn't, I didn't want to get, I almost didn't get any books, but then I saw this one and it, it just like appealed to me. Here's the nosy cat. This is, in case you don't know, this is our cat Django, like Django Fett, like the Star Wars character. My son named him that. He's a really good hunter of flies. So he has kind of a bounty hunter like Django Fett. But anyway, um, I got this book by Stephen K King. It says your number is up, cell. Look how old the, the cell phone is. What is this copyrighted, I wonder? It's in here somewhere, I'm sure. Two thousand six. But it sounded really good, so I got that. That was the only book I got. They had a bunch of books, but I already have quite the stack of books I still need to read. I have a whole bunch of books that my sister lent me, and I haven't read any of them yet. I'm still in that one series. I think I might break away from, I'm like on book 20 of 25. I might break away from that series for a bit. Why are you biting the bag? Such a goofball. And then I got this movie, Blended. If you've never seen this, it was like when it first came out, you didn't really hear much about it. When did it come out? And 2014. And so Brian and I one time were looking for a movie to go see and nothing really sounded good. This one we were just like, yeah, hey, let's go see that one. It sounds okay. It's got Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. We loved this movie. It was so good. And I haven't seen it, you know, out. So I got this movie and I'm excited about that. What are you doing? Are you hiding? Okay. Then the rest of the items are clothing items. And the way she did these, she like folded them all together. So it's kind of hard to know what's first Ugh. okay first off did I tell you the, this was a dollar 99 and the book was 98 cents I got this t-shirt it was 3.99 and it's a plain gray t-shirt but it says love is love over here it's really super soft it's a Sonoma which is a Kohl's but it feels and looks like it's new to me but I really like that so I got that <laughs> it's hard to get this stuff out should just dump it okay this I was really excited to find it is by the brand it's a Charles River apparel and it was $6.99. It looks brand new. But it's this like teal blue color. And it's got all these little pink anchors. And it even has like the tag shows like a person on a kayak. 
So that's what I got it for, is for when we're kayaking, you know, before it gets too warm, because it's a waterproof material, but it's lined in like this really nice, soft, feels like t-shirt material. And then the arms are gathered really nice because when you're kayaking, you're paddling and then water will run down the paddle. And if you don't have some kind of a gather at the sleeve, it just goes right down your sleeves. So I was really excited to find this. And it's got this little pocket in the front. I just thought it was really pretty. And like I said, it looks brand spanking new. Did I tell you how much it was? It was $6.99 if I didn't tell you. But I was excited about this. I want to show that to Brian too. I think he'll think I found a good deal. Man, <laughs> all this stuff's kind of tangled. I found this um, denim jacket. It was six dollars and ninety nine cents. It's um, a Chadwick's, but I really, really liked how it has like the little pocket at the top, and then it has another little pocket on the bottom. I just thought that was a really cute detail. And I like to have little like denim jackets like this. Oh, and then the sleeves. I really liked the sleeves, how they had like this opening. But I think these go good over like dresses or things that are sleeveless or even not sleeveless. They It just looks good and it kind of um, puts an outfit together. And I like the wash of this too. And there's the back. And $6.99 I thought was a really good price for that. Today, they had green green tags were 50% off. I didn't see, at least in the stuff I was looking at, I didn't see any green tag items. So, um, then I got this shirt. It was $2.99 and it's a St. John's Bay. And I thought it looked new also. It has like this little lacy little fluttery sleeve and then it has like a ruffly part and then the back is like strip like doesn't have the ruffles but I thought this was really really cute so I got that and then I got this it's a simply Vera of so Vera Wang so it'd be from Kohl's it was four dollars and ninety nine cents I love this peachy color, the fluttery little sleeves. It looks so summery and pretty to me. But I really love this. Did I tell you it was $4.99? It was $4.99. So there's the front and the back. And I love the little peplum on the bottom. I just thought this was so pretty. I'm so ready for warm weather. And then I got... Again, these look new to me also. These are by Tribal Jeans. I've actually never heard of that brand. These were $7.49, but they're like a stretchy capri pant. And I thought these were really cute. And I liked the bottoms and I liked the wash. Hey, Nosy. So these, and then, one more item, I think. Here, you want to walk on this? Here, take it. There, you can walk on it. Like when we bring home like Walmart or Target or whatever, he likes to walk on the bags. <laughs> I don't know. And then the last thing, these were um, a pair of Levi's Capri pants. They were $6.99. So they're a Capri. I feel more comfortable in capri pants than I do in shorts. I will still wear shorts in summer, but I hate my legs. And capri pants I can wear to work too. You like that? You silly boy. He doesn't like try to chew on them or anything. But anyway, there's the back. I like the wash of these two and they're Levi's. And they're also a stretchy material. So that was my thrift store haul. We also don't leave him alone with a bag. I had a cat years ago 
that if I had like a Walmart sack, she would want to lick it. I don't know. She would like lick it and chew on it. He just likes to like stretch and lay and roll on them and kind of play with them. What are you doing? Oh, did you wink at me? <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> are you a silly boy? Are you a silly boy? Silly boy. Yeah, you're silly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So now I'm going to go show Brian my jacket that I got for kayaking. And I don't know. He's just. You're being precious. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go show Brian that jacket. And then I've already, I'm gonna do some more cleaning, I think. I already put new sheets on our bed, dusted and vacuumed in here. And then I also already dusted the living room and vacuumed. I haven't mopped, but Brian's watching the basketball game and I'll just do that maybe tomorrow. And I'm gonna go wipe down the kitchen counters. So exciting stuff. He knows when he's on camera. <laughs> Except for when, apparently a second ago, he didn't realize it. Janko. Janko. Yeah. Silly boy. So that's a baby Django. He was five months old. That it's like a sunset. Oh, another sunset. Brian and I have things for, we, we love sunsets. I'm sharing some pictures with you guys. Who knows what's gonna come up? That's another sunset. Django, stop. That is my mother-in-law, Brian's mom, me, Brian, and Dwayne, his stepdad. We're in Florida. And that's my mom and my dad. And that's Django. Also, when he was still really young, he fills that whole thing up now. That is Haha ha Tonka. That's like a stream that runs through there over at the Lake of the Ozarks. That's my mama and my dad again. <laughs> There's me and Brian. This is at the Lake of the Ozarks on one of the trails at Haha ha Tonka. And there's me and Brian. We're at the zoo when they were doing a light thing, like a lantern thing. And me and Brian again, I believe that is at Sterrett Creek. We're actually going there in May. Actually, I know that's where that, that is. Brian and I again, we were in Nashville, I think. We were either in Nashville or actually, I think we were in Las Vegas. Yeah, I think that's Las Vegas. That is actually the castle ruins at Ha Ha Tonka, down by the Lake of the Ozarks. And there's my me and Brian again. That, we're definitely in Nashville. We're at the Grand Ole Opry. Those are the glasses that I keep reordering. Another sunset. That's at Sterrett Creek, which is in um, Warsaw, Missouri. That is my oldest, Kim, and me and Brian were at the zoo. This was just recent, like, oh, not quite a year ago, about nine months ago. That's a tree. I don't really know why Brian took a picture of it. He must have just thought it looked cool. 
That's Brian as a taco. <laughs> Cutest little taco I ever did see. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's at the Lake of the Ozarks. Who knows what's going to come up on here. Oh, that's Brian when he was a little boy and Brian's dad when they were out target, doing target shooting. And that is a bald eagle that is on the Osage River out in Warsaw, Missouri. That is from our cruise. I honestly don't remember <laughs> what the name of that beach was. And there's Django again. And that is Brian's stepdad, his mom, me and him were at Worlds of Fun when they were doing a Christmas thing. That's from an airplane. Brian took that picture when he was flying back from Seattle. And that's Brian and I. We were in Branson, Missouri at an indoor miniature golf place. Those red glasses are another pair I have reordered before. That is my youngest son, Brian, my mom and me. That was just at Thanksgiving time. That's my husband's best friends from childhood. And I know them too, just from like our junior year. That's a sunset from the condo, from the bedroom window. Brian and I again at a Kansas City Royals game. We really have a lot of fun together. For a couple that's been together, well, there's me. July 23rd will be 30 years. We'll have been married. We'll be together 37 years. And that's my oldest with Brian. Django again on his little pizza mat. That's back when he used to fit in that thing. He, he couldn't fit in that at all now. Now we put toys in it and he like smacks the bottom and gets them to come out. That's a rainbow on the cruise. It went all the way over the cruise ship. It was really beautiful. And that's on the sea dew. That right there is a spoonbill leaping up out of the water. Brian accidentally caught that. That's my mom and dad. I love them so much. That's Django on Amazon boxes. <laughs> he always has to be on something. And Brian and I again at the Lake of the Ozarks. That's at the top of the Rocky Top Trail. That is along the Osage River in Warsaw, Missouri, down at Drake Harbor. That right there is a walking trail. Love that place. That's my dad. And that is Brian and his buddy Frank that I tell you about, and his cousin, and um, their friends. That was a, one of those big cats, those boats that were lowering down into the water at the Lake of the Ozarks. That's just a beautiful tree Brian saw, <laughs> so he took a picture of it. And that's another picture of the rainbow from the cruise ship. I don't know how many of these I'll show you because I know we've got a bunch of them. I'm trying to just watch the time. And there's little Django again. That was actually, I think, after I had my hysterectomy and he was being my little buddy. Another sunset from the condo. I'm telling you, we love our sunsets. 
And that was when um, Brian and Kim were driving to Seattle for Brian to drop Kim off. My oldest. That's my husband and one of my little nieces at the zoo. And that's the train at the zoo. That's a lantern. It's like a big giant lantern. And that's my youngest. That's when we went and visited him in the Air Force. And Brian and I, he's out of the Air Force now. And that's an eagle from the condo. I actually took a video clip and then I did a, like a screenshot and um, that's Brian and I on the cruise. Like, well, not on the cruise there. We're like on one of the excursions at Coco Cay, their island. That's my husband. There's Django again. That's my oldest, or my youngest, I mean, when he had a beard. That's Brian and his uncle Dennis. Brian used to work on cars a lot when I first met him. He, that's actually his car they're working on there. Oh, that's Brian and I in Nashville. And Brian and I with the sea -Doo. He's in the water. That's his life jacket right there. And that's me at Starrett Creek. Those are those glasses I've reordered from Zenny multiple times. That's Brian's dad and my kids when they were little. That's just out the window, like with the cats. Of course, another sunset at the Lake of the Ozarks when we stayed at Camden on the Lake. That's from the condo's pool deck. That's actually like a, a sunset also. <laughs> That's Brian oh, with my mom's dog right there and then her cat, my mom's dog and cat. And that's me and Brian and my youngest playing mini golf at Sugar Creek down at the Lake of the Ozarks. He looks a lot different now because he's very muscular. That's my mama and me just this past Christmas time. <laughs> That's me at Spirit Halloween with a big giant sword thing. That's Django with Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones comes out at Halloween. Another sunset. That was from the cruise ship. And Django again. That was at Christmas. And that's another picture. I don't know if it's come up again or no, it's a different picture because you can see more of the sidewalk in Warsaw down at Drake Harbor. That's Brian and I from the cruise at St. Martin. That's at Thanksgiving. Just a bunch of my family. That's me right there. That was just a beautiful picture that Brian took. That Dutch bakery we stop at sometimes, that was the kind of flowers and stuff they had set out. That's my youngest back in 2011 at the Lake of the Ozarks. He's 24 now. That's Brian and I. You guess where. <laughs> and that's a sunset from the sea -Doo, which that's what's right there is the handlebars. And that's Brian's dad. Looks like during a very snowy period. And that's from the plane. Brian took that picture on his way home from Seattle after dropping Kim off. 
Those are some lanterns from the zoo. See my reflection sometimes, try to hide myself so I don't ruin the picture. That's Brian sleeping when Django was just a little baby. When we adopted him from the shelter, he was five months old. That's Brian and I in Florida. Brian and Django. Brian and I getting ready to board the cruise ship. That's the cruise ship back there behind us. We took that cruise in October. That's our sea -Doo on its pull-up dock at the lake. That almost looks unreal, doesn't it? That was from the cruise, like another one of our excursions. That's Brian and my youngest. They'd gone to see the Oklahoma City Thunder. My son was stationed in Oklahoma at Tinker Air Force Base when he was in the Air Force. There's another sunset from the condo. And that's another sunset from the cruise ship. I'm just going up to 15 minutes. That's Brian and I in Florida. I hope you're not bored. And that's Brian. We're at a local trail in the Kansas City area. Oh, that's where Brian's dad, his mom decorates his dad's grave the 15th of every single month. And that's what she did for Halloween. And that's her and the kids when they were little. And I'll end with this one. Brian and I on the cruise. So just sharing a little bit. One of you guys had asked to see a wedding photo. So I'll, I have a whole photo album of like wedding stuff. So I'll get that out and I'll show it at some point. I don't know if it'll be this vlog, um, but that's a digital frame that we have that we've just uploaded a bunch of pictures to. And I thought, well, that'd be a pretty easy way, you know, to show you some pictures. So I hope you liked. <laughs> We're gonna watch this tonight. The new, like the remake. It is Sunday morning and I'm getting ready to play a little bit of my game. And I have my coffee, banana, and a granola bar I'm gonna have for breakfast. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna play this for a little bit.
Okay, so Brian and I, we just went down memory lane. <laughs> We're looking in our different photo albums. We've got more, but these are just ones like from when we were younger. So this is, we just got married and we thought this one was kind of cute because he's looking over to his side of the family and I'm looking over to mine. But that's a wedding picture. And then this is Brian with his mom and dad. And this was what, 1994? Yeah, we were, well, I was, I would have been 24, you were still I was 23. 23. Oh, sorry, it's my two liter bottle. And that's, I'm <laughs> born a Dr. Pepper. And we were talking about Brian's dad because we have so many pictures where he's just kind of like, I don't know, he just wasn't a very good picture taker, but that's me with Brian's mom and dad. And then both of us, and he's got a very good smile there with his mom and dad. And then that's me with, or both of us with my mom and dad. And then me with my mom and dad. I still have my wedding dress. These plants. So Brian and I, we paid for our wedding ourselves. His mom bought our wedding cake, and then um, the for the the priest donated the the, the reception for the reception. Didn't charge us the fee for We it. bought these plants at Hobby Lobby, and then we returned them the next day because <laughs> we were we didn't have a lot of money. There's Brian with my mom and dad. I'm not going to show every single picture in here, but this one we were remarking on. There's only three out of the seven people in this picture that are still alive. Yeah. Just the that's, three in the middle. That's Brian's grandma, Jane, mm -hmm. and his grandpa, George. That's my mom's parents. Yeah, that's Carol's parents. And then, of course, me and Brian. And then Larry is Brian's dad. And then Mary is um, his grandma yep. from Larry. but And his grandpa had already passed several years before. So there's some wedding pictures. Oh, and this was our full wedding party. I had a junior bridesmaid, which is Brian's cousin. Nicole. And then she was a friend that I worked with that I'm actually not even friends with anymore. And then Brian's friend Matt that lives in Florida now that he still is good friends with. And then his friend Joe. And then we have one with our ushers in it too, I think. Yeah. Uh, which one is it? No, that ain't it. Oh, did I go backwards? You went backwards. I don't know. Just keep flipping another one. Here's the one with everybody, even the ushers. That's my buddy Dave, who actually lives at the Lake of the Ozarks now. He moved down there, and he's lived down there for several years. And then that's my other buddy, Kevin. And Kevin is still here in the KC area. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to show you some pictures that go way back. Okay, so Brian and I started dating in 1987, and this was a picture from Kmart. Oh, and also these photo albums are ones Brian's mom made. This used to be a thing where they would make these like real fancy photo albums, but the pages are so old. Our first date was a Bon Jovi Cinderella concert. Yeah. So that just takes you back. But it's like... It's so funny because we were looking through these Kmart pictures and it's like, did they tell you don't smile? Because <laughs> we look like we're ready for a funeral. I mean, we're wearing black and everything. I think if everything. you don't smile, they don't, didn't charge you as much. <laughs> I don't know. And then for some reason, I saved all the little... And look, happy holidays with our blah nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we look so happy. Oh, I wasn't going to show your rest. That's all right. No, look, I'm intimidating. You don't want to take that on. That's 134 pounds of not much. <laughs> oh, but look at these. I mean, we were making fun of Brian's glasses. Yeah, that was, I was, yeah, I was styling. That was stylish. Yeah. That was my Jackie O's. And then the sweaters and stuff we used to wear back in the 80s. This was at my house. <laughs> Brian's just too cool for school, man. Looky there. Oh, we we're probably skipping. That's probably lunch. Lunch hour. We went to McDonald's <laughs> or something for lunch. Well, that may be you. I wasn't. I don't skip school. Oh yes, Ms. I remember. Perfect Angie. I remember that sweater. 
Ah, it's so funny. Oh, and then prom. These are our prom. I love that prom dress she's got. That's a pink satin with black lace. Mm, yeah. Tell me, that still fits. That still, you can wear that today and still be all right at the prom. These were back in the day. My mom had a Z24, the old Chevy Z24. I couldn't drive it though, cause I'd already I was <laughs> I wrecked I wrecked out a lot of wrecks when I was younger. So Brian easy, was, easy to get to drive uh, the yeah. prom. We he wanted was, to drive the nice car. He was a little bit of a bad boy. This was also back in the days of high schoolers going to tanning beds, which is why I look so tan. It's probably also why I've had skin cancer removed a couple of times. <laughs> I've got this air pump out, so if people hear that, I've got to take it down and blow, oh. up, blow up the buoys. <clears throat> My buoys need some air. But it's just funny also looking even at the furniture and stuff. The old cars. I like looking at the old cars. That was Brian's dog, Buffy. She was a Cocker Spaniel. She was an awesome dog. That was from prom. Cockers are good dogs. All dogs are good, but... <laughs> Here's my ID, school ID, graduation. I don't have any of my graduation pictures. Oh my gosh, look at that lamp. Mm. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> and then there's like the official prom pictures. That's it. <laughs> well, this is my senior picture. Check out that 80s hairdo. Itchy birdie. <laughs> that took a lot of hairspray. <laughs> Aquanet. Yes, exactly. Aquanet. Hey. Oh, and then Brian. He There's wanted baby to Brian. He wanted to show baby Brian. This is better. I had like, my hair was almost reddish. It was 70, so. Yeah, and also, I, I, guarantee that's, I guarantee that's a Kmart picture. Oh, this for one. sure. They always used but to. But I remember being in the like grocery that. store when I was little and, and people had a, this one lady asked or made a comment about her, my mom's little girl, because my mom <laughs> would have my hair so long, but it was the early mid seventies. Cute little Brian. And these are some other senior pictures. So funny. And when we went on our honeymoon, do any of you guys that have, watched for a while recognized like dog patch it looks a little different now it's been down there since the 50s but we had our honeymoon at the lake of the ozarks and so we were seeing all the pictures of that that fudge place is still there dog patch is still there that's the building is still there but it's not there but and then this was i had fudge and but yeah we've been Here's our little Ozarks pictures. But we've been loving the Ozarks for a long, long, long time. And I even went there when I was a little kid. That's a cabin. We stayed in this little tiny cabin for our honeymoon. It was just this little... And we were even looking at like the old Lay's chips bags. These are just pictures of what the inside of the cabin looked like and... We went to Big Surf Water Park. That's a terrible picture. Brian at the batting cages, which they're actually getting ready to tear down. They've been vacant for a while now. But that's what that little cabin looked like. They were just like these little bitty cracker boxes. He is still down on the strip. If you watch that show Ozark, they had him in there too, and he's actually even been um, repainted since then. And Brian, look at the, just the way, I don't know, we were into a lot of color. <laughs> but we went on a tour of the dam, Bagnell Dam. It's just funny, just going through all these old pictures. Okay, so let's go from young Angie to now 53 year old Angie <laughs> looking a mess in her pajamas but that was a nice trip down memory lane I hope you enjoyed seeing some pictures but now I am going to I think I'm gonna start this book
that I got at the thrift store because it sounds really interesting and just kind of chill. It's cold again today. It's supposed to start raining in a couple of hours. So I'm just gonna maybe curl up with a throw, make some hot tea, read my book before I have to start, you know, getting ready for the week, the upcoming week, you know, take my shower, picking out my clothes for tomorrow, all that kind of stuff. So I am gonna wrap the vlog up for the week because I'm not gonna do anything else but be a vegetable. So I might clean the kitchen a little bit, but you know, make lunch, dinner, that kind of stuff, but nothing interesting. Plus, I feel like I this might be a longer video since we went down memory lane for a while. So I hope you enjoyed that and weren't bored. But thank you so much for joining me for the week, and I hope you'll come back next week. Bye!